I think it's time for a new tutorial. Hey, what's up? Hasman here. And in this week's video, I'm gonna teach you something which I've come across that I do myself a lot. And I thought it might be handy for you all to know as well. Now you might know I love to make breakdowns, I love to work on melodics, I love to work on setting themes and songs. But even I, whenever I make a track which needs two breakdowns, for instance like a melodic track or a track without a vocal but with like a vocal chop or like a, it need a vocal but not like a properly sung vocal but just a sample from Splice or something, I run into sometimes an issue what to do with that second breakdown. I always come quickly around with the first breakdown but the second breakdown always needs to have something more of the same but also something that keeps the listener interested in that section. So in today's video I'm gonna talk to you about reusing and recycling melodies for that second breakdown. What do I mean with that? When you make a track you already have a few melodies that you're gonna use in the breakdown, in the hands up in the air moment, that big melodic layer, the drop melody, there are already three melodies which you can use for the second breakdown. And what I usually do is I use those new melodies that I've created for different parts in the track and reuse them in different ways so they can help carry the track forward in the second breakdown and be sort of an underlayer. Here I have a track which I've been working on for the last few weeks. I started this track with some melodies in the breakdown with a big melody and then a drop melody. a cool splice sample which I use for the main break. Moving side to side, come dance with me, looking at me like you wanna be. Moving side to side, come dance with me, looking at me like you wanna be. But as you can already uh, reckon, splice is great but you won't get fully fledged vocals in there so it's pretty difficult to find something to do with that main vocal and the second breakdown without making it repetitive. Now what I usually do whenever I go from the first drop into the second breakdown, I always have a sort of a transitional period of like two to four bars. And then something new needs to happen which doesn't de deviate too much from what I already have, but also is new enough so the listener stays interested in my song because still got some minutes to go in this song. So what I actually do in this track and a lot of tracks of my own, I actually use the main melody as sort of an underlayer for the vocal. So let's add that main melody, those main chords in there and just add different sounds to them and just make them a bit more mellow so we can see how it works with the vocal. <laughs> like the same track but it's just different enough it sets that vocal in a whole different kind of setting it gives certain places of the vocals hit certain different chords which gives it a feeling that the track is just changing enough before we're going back into that big melodic layer 
And this is a technique that I use a lot in combination with reversing stuff that I already have, in combination with changing the pitch, in combination with sometimes I even half the speed of a sample, reverse it and then put it like seven tones up or five tones down. <laughs> just see which small parts which I already used can still use in this track and it's for me a really cool tool to speed up my own process and really make sure that my track follows the same theme but still is interesting enough for the second section of this track. So you might be wondering what's gonna happen with this track. This track is actually done, at least the first version is done of this track. I've sent it out to the labels the past week so let's see which label wants to sign it. It's gonna be the first track which will also later on be included on the album, at least the way I think of it now. And it will also be featured into the video game, into the club of the section in the video game. So it's basically the beginning of the album has now really started. Talking about music, this Friday my new track Cyberpunk will be out on In Harmony Records. And I really hope you enjoyed this track. I really had a lot of fun creating this track. As you can already hear in the name, it also got a little bit of the same theme that my game will have. So good times ahead. This is Cyberpunk. Now I really hope you enjoyed this video, I really hope this tip helps you create better breakdowns. If you like what I do, hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe and then I see you all on the next video. Take care and bye bye.